what is going on everybody it's your girl cherish Walteezy back with another one today we saw a shock drop of the air jordan one spider-man 2.0 next chapter spider-verse whatever you want to call these things we did see them early today guys may the second we're going to talk about how the shock drop went down today and go over some information about how this may affect the future release of these things but before we get into today's video if you're new to the channel do me a huge huge favor hit the subscribe button for your girl join the sneaker gang y'all and make sure to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video and check out these kicks Yesterday, May 1st, the rumor started going out that there was going to be a potential shock drop of the Air Jordan 1 Spider-Man 2.0. People started seeing these things on the back end of the Nike Sneakers app. We didn't know exactly what time these kicks were going to shock drop on the app, but we knew it would be going down today, May the 2nd. Fast forward to today, obviously I've been waiting all day for the shock drop to go down. I know everybody was talking about it in the sneaker community, just knowing that it was gonna happen. A lot of people started joining the bandwagon right around this time for these things. But at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, guys, the shock drop went down on the Nike Sneakers app. Nike Sneakers posted this picture and then shock dropped the full family size run of these things, guys, with the men's size retailing for 200 US dollars. Now, I did go check out these kits when the shock drop happened at 1 p.m. You know, stayed on the app for a little bit, scrolled through. I personally, myself, did not want to cop these things. I ain't gonna lie, the hype of the shock drop and just everybody getting so geeked for these things things did almost make me join the bandwagon i've been like up in the air on if i wanted these or not so i was watching the app to see if i was going to pull the plug on my 10 and a half which i did decide not to do i didn't even enter but honestly it seems like the shoes were available on the app for a long period of time i don't think they actually sold out from what i could see until like 1 40 p.m so that's like 40 minutes of these things being on the app I saw a lot of Gotham's go out throughout the sneakers community. I did also see a lot of L's guys. And you will not believe that there were 232,000 pairs of these things shock dropped on the sneakers app. That is so many pairs, guys. Now, if you did take an L on this shock drop of the Air Jordan 1 Spider-Man 2.0s, or you were like me and wasn't sure if you wanted to pull the plug or not, there's still time to grab these things on May the 20th when they actually release. Uh, they will obviously be releasing on the sneakers app along with other different shoe locations, guys. And I do see this being a pretty high stock general release. Now, I will say with this shock drop, I feel like the people who wanted the shoe the bandwagon really just grew in regards to the popularity of the shoe i went from hearing like nothing about the spider-man 2.0 to hearing about them all day long all throughout my timeline so will that be said that more people will be trying to grab these things on the release day and it may be a little harder than originally planned possibly or people may get their kicks in hand from this shot drop and see that these things are trash and nobody wants to get them on the release date because everybody who already got them said these mugs are trash so we will see how the release date goes i do feel like there will be quite a bit of stock for the release date as well now with the resale price this is the main reason i feel like personally why people have been joining the bandwagons on these things guys these kicks are making a little bit of money when it comes to resale so as I mentioned, the men's size did retail for 200 US dollars. And most of the sizes on these things are going from like around the 340 US dollar mark. There are some as low as 290, some going up to, you know, way higher than that, depending on the size. Now that right there, as you can see, is like making $140 over the retail. So obviously people, you know, are thinking outside of the box and trying to grab these things today to see if they can get that resale amount once they are able to sell them when they get them in early. So my thought is once we start to get closer to May 20th, I feel like the resale on these things are going to go down on the spot. Spider-Man 2.0s. I just feel like once people start to get their early pairs in hand, less people are going to want to grab them on the release day. So less people will be trying to buy them for resale. Some people who are looking at those resale prices already thinking about pulling the plug did already hit today on an early pair. And you know, once those early pairs start to come in, I feel like people are going to try to quick flip them who aren't really trying to hold on to them. And so that'll bring the resale down a little bit as well. So we will see. I feel like, like I said, the resale number will go down from that 340-ish mark 
to where it is now. I mean, people might get them in hand today and say these things are fire and they go straight up, but I just feel like it's gonna be a little less like that. I feel like it's gonna be easier to grab these things while we get closer to the release date. So guys, that is the tea on the shot drop of the Air Jordan 1 Spider-Man 2.0 or next chapter, Spider-Verse, whatever you wanna call them. The shot drop went down today. Everybody was ready to take their dubs. That went for them. Congratulations to those of you who did hit on a pair of these things. If you did not, once again, you have until May 20th to try to grab these things for retail. If you did like today's video, make sure to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the sneaker gang. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I drop a banger. That's all I have for today's video. I will catch you in the next one.